Elsevier, I have come for the soul. So, Otmar sent you to kill me, eh? I can smell him on you. Or is that the stench of the grave? 
Dollmaker, I have no time for these games. The soul is mine! I earned it! Otmar gave it to me! Then you shall earn it with blood. You shall not have it! Mine! 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 Farewell, my love. I was lucky to have made you. Hey, Victor! What an odd little man. Now, to find the soul. Elzevir imprisoned the girl's soul in a small fabric doll. The old man's intentions I shall never know. I entered the court with the dollmaker's head in one hand and the doll containing the girl's soul in the other. I placed them both before the king and watched his eyes catch fire. With the doll in their possession, the court sorcerers could restore his daughter's soul. I do not know that I can thank you enough, warrior. My kingdom is but a small price to pay for my daughter's life. Willendorf is yours if you wish it. It is not your kingdom I desire, but your army, Otmar. I require troops to vanquish the horde that descends upon us from the north. Very well. Courtiers, fetch me my armor and mace. There is war to be waged! The scourge of Nosgoth is upon us, friends. We shall die today as heroes, lest we live tomorrow as slaves. Ready thine arms for Nosgoth! In the distance I saw the Nemesis armies march forward, a black tide that would soon wash over the armies of the Hope. <laughs> They came at me in throngs, no fervor as strong as that inspired by a madman. The Nemesis armies were fierce and showed no signs of subsiding. The tide turned with Otmar's death. I watched as the remaining survivors of the armies of hope fled to the safety of the forest. The battle had decided its victor. The fate of Nosgoth now lay in the Nemesis' hands. I sated my thirst on warriors of Horde and Hope alike, the dying relinquishing their final moments to give me strength.
At once the battlefield was gone. Where the ground was caked with blood and dirt, there was lush greenery. Where chaos reigned only moments before, this damning calm prevailed. Alas, it seemed I was stranded here. The time-streaming device lay in pieces at my feet. Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! Does your house burn? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? Yes! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king so that I can prepare you for the onslaught. So it seemed I was in the land of William the Just. Fifty years before the battle I had just escaped would take place. The stronghold of William the Just. It was time for me to pay a visit to he who would become the nemesis and force Nosgoth on its knees.
Yes, the, these weapons you've provided will see to that. Uh, uh, pray tell, Mobius, what game do you play? None, my lord. I only wish to aid you in vanquishing your foes. The weapons are but a token of my goodwill. A and the news you bring, a vampire said to slay me? Where did you come upon such knowledge? It is of no consequence, sire. It was only out of concern for your majesty's life. Perhaps, perhaps. Very well, then. You may leave me now, but should I wish to speak to you? I will know, Your Majesty, and I shall be there in time.
Ah, yes, the vampire. Uh, Mobius told me you would come. <laughs> <laughs> As his guards rushed to save him, William the Just's blood was already renewing my strength, replacing the life his sword had stolen from my veins. The poor fools come to aid their fallen leader. Let us have some amusement. A time streaming device. Strange. When coincidence seems too convenient, I prefer to call it fate. With William the Just dead, Mobius's plans have been thwarted. His pawn was removed from the game.
I found myself once more in the Nosgoth I knew. The carnage from battle was gone. Yet there was something amiss. From the distance, I heard cries, and a breeze from the south carried with it the faint odor of vampire blood. To it seem the folly fell upon my own shoulders. With their sainted King William dared by my hand, the people of the land were consumed by a hunger all their own, for vampire blood. As I wandered about more, the shrieking and cheering became more apparent and defined. There was some sort of gathering to the south, for with each cheer I smelled an outpour of blood. I make no pretense to justify my killing, yet these vampire hunters would cloak their bloodlust beneath a veil of righteousness. Hypocrites! They would make themselves judge and jury. Very well then, let us see how they take to my role as executioner. until Nosgoth is purged of your kind. I had been betrayed. In my haste, I had not realized it before. That sigil on his forehead, the oracle of Nosgoth, was in fact the time streamer Mobius, and I had followed his advice. How much of my quest was of his design? Willendorf, the battle of the last stand, William the Just? Was this the trap he had fashioned for me? We will send you back to the grave whence you came, vampire. I have seen the future, Kane. You are not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let us call upon the puppets from the past! May Victor! From the present!
And from ages yet to come. <laughs> Ironic. By going back in time and altering the past, you turned William the Just into the nemesis. I, you have seen my plan, Vampire, as I have seen your destiny. The future says you die. But I am dead. As are you. I knew that Mobius's hourglass was the focus of his time-streaming magic. Farewell, sorcerer. The sands of time have ceased to flow. For betrayed us, Mortanius. You had Cain killed and turned him into a monster. You set him upon us. It had to be. Napraptor's insanity poisoned all of our minds. The Circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Failed our duties? Idiot! The Circle exists for us. We don't exist for it. Our powers will save or damn Nosgoth at our whim. Stand with us, Mortanius, or die. Then I shall die. The circle is to be destroyed. You have to die as well, Necromancer. I admire your cunning, but you will not escape your fate. Nay, I will embrace it, but my death will leave one more to take, Princeling. Finish me! <laughs>
You thought yourself a king, when in fact you were a pawn. You have served me well, Cain. <laughs> I serve no one. Indeed, such narrow vision. Don't you see? My silencing of Ariel and its calculated repercussions is but the first act in my theater of grand guignols, of which you are the tragic hero. Play on, little vampire. Play on. Fay Victus! <laughs> <laughs> Anacroth's magic was contained within the metal of the scales and would eventually be released back into the pillar from whence it came. The scales of Anacroth I lay before the pillar of states. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The death orb of Mortanius had given the necromancer dominion over the grave. I had thought him the last of the circle, and yet he spoke of another. Before the pillar of death, I lay the orb of Mortanius. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. <laughs> I am the last pillar, the only survivor of the Circle of Nine. At my whim, the world will be healed or damned. At my whim. Once I embraced my powers, I realized that Vorador was correct. We are gods. Dark gods. And it is our duty to thin the herd. Ha 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 ha.